Hello everybody and welcome to the distinct feeling of Deja Vu. This is Conundrum created by Tullaby CZ with the original puzzle design by Robo SK. So a very big thank you to the both of them. Uh, for those of you who aren't getting the distinct feeling of having already been here once before, we appear to be back in the rather grand cartoon-esque, albeit different formatted manner of our dear old uncle Professor Quadrangle from Quantum Conundrum, which is... Uh, basically the perfect opportunity for me to plug the fact that I already played that game. There's a whole video series of it and you should definitely go and watch it because, well, basically nobody did at the time. Uh, yeah, it was a physics game that I basically, you know, I fell out of love with it. It was all physics based. Yes, I see you flashing up there. I remember you. You're a Desmond battery, aren't you? You're going to be very, very important. But yeah, a physics game, you know, once again, it was the world of boxes upon buttons. Yes, I know, Shell's very heavy, we'll get to those jokes in a minute. But, um, the physics. They seemed wonky to me and I completely fell out of love with the game. If it wasn't for the fact that John Delancey was an incredible voice actor in it, I probably would have quit earlier. Yeah, I, I do see you flashing. Um, who are you and why are you so prominently displayed? Jacob Lorber. I know that name for some reason. Aren't you the cover model for Beard Aficionado Weekly? Oh yeah, you had that wonderful article about how to strain soup appropriately. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's what we're going to be playing with, isn't it? Can I do anything with you now? No, you are too heavy. Quantum Conundrum was, well, it was physics-based. I'm, I'm sure I've said that several times already. But um, cubes were like safes, and you changed them from different dimensional states of basically heavy and floaty seem to be the main, main objective. How do I get you? You clearly wanted, you're flashing. But everything did have this wonderfully cartoony-esque style to it. Yeah, I want you. Can I get at you somehow? Do I... I can't pick you up to get up there. You're very awkwardly placed. Uh, books of anything? The Great Gospel of John. Issues 1 through 11. Although 11 looks like he slightly phoned it in there. It's probably just the acknowledgements, right? Um, how do I get you? Is there anything I can do? It goes here. In case you were wondering, it clearly goes here. Basically, we went around collecting Desmond batteries, which gave us different dimensional powers based on, well, the room, I think it was. It's been a while since I played it. How do I get you? Can't do anything with you now, right? No, we're going to need the safe to hold that down, but the safe is far too heavy right now. How do I actually get you? Are we already in floaty mode? No, we are in regular weighted mode. Do I have to parkour up the banister? Yeah, okay. Probably parkouring up the banister or let me get at you. Yeah, there it is. Okay, this is a Desmond battery. Um, Desmond was one of those infinite drinking dipping water birds, which I didn't know were a real thing at the time. Did they look like this? That looks far more suppository than I remember. Anyway, it probably goes here. Yeah, it clicks there. Okay, so pressing on you. Everything goes slightly white balance exposed and it appears to have started snowing. Is that... I'm still the same way. Is that light mode, right? That would be big thing becomes small thing. Can we now pick up the safe? If I can get past the chair. Yes, the safe is now a manageable weight, meaning you will act as a regular everyday cube, right? We sit you on there and you slowly, very slowly fall into place. Uh, how graceful of you. All right, you're going to be heavy again, don't you? Yeah, let's put you back to regular weighted world and you are now effectively just a cube, which we can't pick up again. Uh, right, so, I don't remember there being dead things on the wall in Quantum Conundrum, but I'm sure they were there. We've got a crate, a crate of love. Isn't that an adult novelties website, Love Crate? That's not a, that's not a sponsored moment, although, hint hint, Love Crate, if you do exist, wouldn't mind. Nice poster of Obi-Wan Kenobi, big fan. Uh, button up there, we're going to need another Desmond battery to plug into that side. And you, what was on the other one? The other one just had uh, scales on it, didn't it? You've got a crate, so our love crate probably goes ahead and just sits on there, right? Love crate on button? Should probably stop referring to it as a love crate. It's a companion crate, right? That's the reference we're going for here. That opens up that door. Uh, we're also going to need one up on the wall there, so I'm guessing some sort of interdimensional nonsense-based physics type mechanics will it be at play. And that will open up our door where we can get ourselves a second love crate. 
So what have you actually got in this side then? Ah, you. You flash indicating I want you. Yeah, definitely don't remember these being quite so suppository shaped. You sit on there and what do you do? You give everything a slight red tone and our love crate is now red. Why is our love crate now red? What does that do any differently? Okay, I don't remember that one. Was there a lock the cube in place mechanic in Quantum Conundrum? I seem to remember everything was just kind of floaty or heavy was the main principles, right? There was a third one though, and I honestly can't remember what it is. It probably probably was lock cube in space since that's a thing here. Uh, in that case then, that would mean we can probably stick you up there. Uh, that has gone green, indicating you have opened up. We can grab our second crate, which can also be suspended in mid-air for some purpose. And then there's this thing on the wall, which seems very prominent and important. There was also a lot of yellow tubes, wasn't there? Again, I'm sure there was a reason explained by John Delancey, but I can't remember what it was. God, I loved his voice acting in that, though. I can't get in you anymore, though, but we can use you to hold this one open. You sit on there. Uh, that opens up this, so this thing, right? This thing? This thing? No, nope. oh, that thing. That thing. Ah, okay, well, I've played Valve games before. You're a cog and you go in the wall and you make magical gameplay happen. Magical gameplay. Magical gameplay in the form of a giant opening panel of wall. And... Okay. Quadrangle's been nicking some science from Aperture, clearly. That is very much an Aperture Thermal Discouragement laser. That's locked in place as we've saved. Uh, there's a coin slot in the floor. And a door. Probably get at the door. What's the coin slot? And can I get back up? I don't have a portal gun anywhere. Guessing portal gun mechanics aren't actually at play in this one. It's all going to be cubes upon various position boxes. We're going to have to do stepping stones across the sky, right? If I take you off of there, we don't need you in there anymore. Probably don't need that one doing that anymore. And we're going to have to delicately attempt to stepping stone across. Yeah, okay, fine. Uh, let's grab you. Jump onto that one, try not to go too far, and put it in a nice safe spot like so. Like that. What is the thing down on the floor though? I'm guessing that's a way to get back up, right? Do I test it now? Do we need to test it now? I'll test it if I need it, which isn't actually testing, that's just relying. Uh, you go back over to that side then, we can gently step across. Is this door going to open up or am I going to have to... I'm going to have to block the laser as well, aren't I? Okay, you go there then. One more across should be plenty to step over. Then from this one, you go there. You float permanently in space about there. Thank you, Love Crate. You're being a very handy companion. And we get through into here. Portal gun. We do actually have a portal gun. Cool. Right. So portal gun plus quantum conundrum mechanics combined. Light will guide you home. Yep. That was the entire point of a lighthouse. Well done for pointing that out. Ah, there's another one of these. So what are you actually? You are a faith plate. That's what you do. You chuck us up to a higher level of the library. That was another thing about the um, Professor Quadrangle's manner, right? It never made any sense why the layout was as it was, and we were supposed to just got to go, hey, sci-fi, and all sorts of nonsense like that. Uh, what's this one? That looks like the cover of a Rush album, and you're going to want a crate to activate another faith plate flipper type thing here which looks like it will chuck us over there into another stolen from Aperture conveyance beam. And you're chucking a crate repetitively down into... Let's go with Deadly Deadly Goo. Yeah, that was that was in Quantum Conundrum as well, right? The Deadly Deadly Goo was just sort of this uh, yellow stuff everywhere. I'm sure I made a year in joke at the time, but I won't bother you with that now. So what are we actually doing then? Get the crate would make sense. Fire conveyance beams, button over there flashing for the sake of getting my attention. More beard aficionado artwork on the walls. Let's grab you then, right? You're going to give me a new one and I can push you against the wall. Uh, drop you over to those panels there. Looks like that's what that's for. So now. And then realize there's no way to get it anywhere closer to me. What is that? And are you a regular fizzler? Yeah, you're a regular fizzler. Uh, upstairs is blocked off by the one tiny velvet rope, which I had a whole fucking rant about in when I was studying art. Basically, these things ruin galleries, right? I once went to this exhibition about giant bloody concrete walls and barriers of light. 
except you couldn't get anywhere near them because of a pissy little velvet rope and it completely ruined the experience for me and I was rather pissed off about it especially since it was an exhibition I had to pay to get into uh, more death upon the walls there really what's the point of the velvet rope if I can just go around that was another another argument I had at the time uh, you so what do you do you you oh you lower everything all right okay uh, this puts us into a small cage of inconvenience. Okay, thank fuck you go back up. All right, uh, so that lowers you down into a cage for some reason. So yeah, get the crate, right? Is it a love crate? Again, honestly, not sponsored, but open to any free merchandise. Thinking about it, YouTube probably wouldn't like the unboxing video, though. You just chuck me back up there. Conveyance beam. Ah, it's a grate, right? Um... So that means I can do everything literally from here, so you bring that over here, then you could drop it into this one, bring it here, and then I assume, based on the fact that I can't clearly aim with depth reception, let's do that again, based on previous knowledge of dealing with grates in this game, I can probably just like grab the cube, right? Uh, there. That wasn't quite where I wanted, that's going to hit the piss tubes, can you come over here a bit more? Thank you. Yeah, it does work. Okay, uh, that's a regular fizzler though, right? Are you gonna fizzle? No, you just don't let it through entirely. Okay, fine. You sit there then. That makes sense with the elevator now. You can go over that side. Uh, we can get Faith Plate Flippered up to the top level of the library. Go use the elevator and just like drag you up the side of the meshwork, right? Take me down. Grab you. Wait for the elevator's auto return mechanism. Uh, there's another flipper over there with an arrow pointing towards the door. Chuck that down there for the moment. And a button, a button that looks like it's connected to... Is that a cube respawn button? So why do I want a cube respawn? The door's already open. So just get to that fave plate, right? And it'll flipper us over there. Uh, who actually needed a cube? You need a cube. To turn on that flipper, chuck us into the conveyance beam. So let's take this up to the higher level. Come with me, love crate. I'm gonna. I need. I really do need to stop saying that. It's just a crate with a heart on. Just someone's nice, you know, spray paint stencil artwork. You sit on there. Chuck me out. That was like that when I got here. Um. Okay, nice detail. The lighting actually changed as well. Uh, chuck me back up there then. Is that just... That was just literally there to be in the way, right? Was there something to do with falling... Game saved. Was there something to do with falling um, chandeliers in Quantum Conundrum? Again, it's been a very long time since I played that. Uh, more mesh work in here with a single panel and a single panel. Ah, there was fans, right? Fans meant floaty cubes and floaty cubes had to be ridden on and like slid around and that was when the game started to really wind me up. It was like you had to rely on the physics of the game, right? But the game's physics were really, really quite unreliable. Also, I found a soft lock in that game, and I don't think anyone else ever did. Um, nicely done lighting, highlighting the piss tube. So I need a floaty cube to get through there. Ride a floaty cube across? Where do I even get a floaty cube? Was it that button over on the wall over in here? Do you have something to do with floaty cubes? Where even is my cube? It's still up there, right? I don't think I need it up there anymore, so we should probably try and respawn it. Can I get over there somehow? Uh, if we do that, will take us up and put us into an infinite loop of conveyance beaming. Shift over to you. Shift over to you. Shift down to that one. Just slide in there. Let's go ahead and press U. So that just respawns the cube, right? How do I make the cube do... Oh, we saved here as well. How do I make the cube do floaty mode? That was all the way back at the start. Uh, we should probably get you though, right? With conveyance beams again. Just bring it over this side. Drop you down to that one. Right against the wall will work fine this time. Thank you very much. It is a love crate. Why do I keep saying that? I swear that was a company advert I saw with, honestly, not at all personalized advertising on Google. Um, hold on. That's going to be in my way, right? Let's chuck that up there. 
Uh, you fling me quite interestingly angled over towards the door, and I've got a regular cube. I want a floaty cube. Fans always meant floaty cube puzzles. So why do I... Is it already floaty? Is it an empty crate? Like, if I do that, will you... Do you, like, float in midair? No, you just go into the urine. Literally a pit of piss. Um, Crap, that means I actually need a new one of those, doesn't it? Uh, let's go grab a new one of those, which is probably easier to do now with you and you. And you should get a new cube, and at some point we can do that, and I can grab you if I was way quicker than that. Fine, give me a new one. Uh, around about now, yeah? Yeah, that one worked, okay. So what do I actually do with a non-floaty cube when I actually need a floaty cube? Those arrows... Is that just, you know, good lighting, or are those supposed to be arrows for the piss pipe for some reason? Really? No, you don't want me to just walk across the piss pipes. Well, I suppose a cube as a stepping stool is technically physics, but... I was expecting something a bit more quantum conundrum-y there. Really? Just take this across like this? Okay, fine. Uh, that can go sit on here, then. Yeah, this piss pit room was rather anticlimactic, if I'm honest. Uh, that lets us go through into the next part of the chamber. We're going to need another cube crate to sit upon here. Go and exit across that side. Lovely decorative area rug really ties the room together. Uh, what's that got on it? Break borders, you can find me in the east. Uh, you know what? I'm not touching that with a 10 foot barge pole right now. So uh, what do you actually want me to do in this one? Oh, be free. You want a cube on the ceiling, but we don't have floaty cubes. You haven't closed though, so we do still technically have conveyance beam based technology. Alright, so conveyance beam a cube up to the ceiling, right? Uh, can I just bring you through here? I can't just bring you here through here, can I? Because there's a fizzlery type thing in the way. Uh, you sit back on there then. Oh, alright, fine. You go there. Uh, you go there. And then we just sort of manually, rather anticlimactically, take you back by walking across the piss tubes again. I probably referred to them as piss tubes in the playthrough of Quantum Conundrum, if I'm honest. I'm very immature at times. Uh, let's take you into here and sit you on there, then. What does that do? Is that just the same fizzler field from the other side? Sure, but we need you in here, right? Because you've got to go press the ceiling button. Uh, to press the ceiling button, we need conveyance beam-based technology. To get conveyance beam-based technology, we actually need to be back in... there? Then I don't have the portals I want from the far side? Can I... Can I see all the way back? Is that why the door's open? That one panel on the floor, maybe? I can grab... you? Yeah, okay, that lets us get the conveyance beam, right? So... Uh, grab the conveyance beam... Nope. That thing again. Grab the conveyance beam from this side. Ah, uh, but I gotta be able to get in there. What did I leave over in there? I left orange in there. So if we I can't move orange. I can't move the orange because I need the orange in there. I need the blue out here to get the conveyance beam. Down there's portallable, isn't it? Yeah, that's portallable floor. Okay, uh so if that's orange there, that means we move the orange. And hope that's a high enough jump to reach the conveyance beam. Yep, just about. Okay, then uh, put the blue on you. Conveys us back into the room we were already in. Chuck the cube to go press the B3 button. Like so. Like so. Oh, everything lights up. And an ominously bright doorway ahead of us has opened. Detecting slight religious overtones in this chamber. I mean, slight. They're, they're pretty bloody strong, aren't they? I mean, there was Obi-Wan Kenobi on the wall. Uh, I need to actually get over there, though, don't I? Yeah, okay, so... I guess you could just wait on the floor. And I can convey across. Isn't that going to bring the cube with me? Yep, the cube is on my head. I don't actually want the cube on my head. Uh, where are you? You go down there and hope you reach good places. Yeah, probably good enough. I can manipulate it over from there to about there. Be free? Be free! Okay. 
Not at all ominous. Ooh. Ooh. Clouds. Ooh, it's pretty out here. Uh, I'm guessing that's the end of the map. We've entered the... Ah, there's a scrolling text for an end. Uh, you shall know the truth, and the truth, obscured by clouds, shall make you free. Uh, yeah, I know the truth. Basically, don't be an asshole, but for some reason, a lot of people seem to forget that. Conundrum created by Tullaby CZ with original puzzle design by Robo SK. So a very big thank you to the both of them. Very nice hammer and texture work and a great job at nailing Quantum Conundrum's whole aesthetic and vibe. Which leaves me the perfect opportunity to say that if you like the look of this particular map, then you should definitely go ahead and watch my playthrough of Quantum Conundrum. It's basically the same as watching me play Portal, if you're into that kind of thing. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you later.